How's it going everyone? My name is BQ. Welcome back to Finding Paradise. Now we just were discovered that we went a little bit farther back in time than we originally uh, planned. Oh, that's locked. Okay, so do we want to jump up this building? We're just observing. Oh, okay. I guess we're doing that. Okay, and we got a creepy uh, uh, digital guy on our tail too. The book was what catapulted us all the way here, right? How very magical and equally annoying. All right, hey, hmm? This book, it's not getting wet from the rain. Huh, guess it glitches in more ways than one. Interesting, this spooky kid, I concur. Okay, bedroom, do we got, is that some kind of game device? No, okay, I guess we'll just talk to him then. Oh, okay, five balls. Alrighty then, let's go find them balls then. So where in tarnation are we exactly? It's it's dad apparently. You hang in there, son. Hmm. Did he have a tragic Batman childhood? Food's in the fridge as always. Keep this place in check. All right. I will. Uh, this does not feel good. I'm sorry we have to leave again, Colin. But well, at least we got to see you today before we go. I understand. You need to work hard to keep us afloat. Hmm, that's right. Interesting, so they're poor originally. It's a difficult time, but we'll get through it. And one day, things are gonna be all better. We'll make sure of that. And then they were killed in the streets after going to go visit some play. And that's when Colin became the Batman. Alright, this is gonna end horribly. You should keep eating more, you little scamp. Those breads were going were going quick for a while. I thought you hit a growth spurt. Okay, take care, son. That's the last he ever saw of them. I'm probably right, aren't I? Hey, kid. Uh, you want to talk to you? Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay, there we go. All right. So, oh, you got a little toy. He's playing some video games. Now back to Red Dog, the red-nosed corgi. Okay. Hey, look, you're on TV! Say something! That's not how I remember the show goes at all. r ru dog Okay, either this is like an alternate reality or this is very different. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, you little scam jumping on top of mom and dad's bed. Come on, ru dog you can jump too! No, we can't. ru dog is dead. Is this a jar of pickles? Is that a jar of pickles? Jar of loose change. Okay, that's close. Interesting, these books are just there. All stacked all of a sudden. So weird. Okay, well, what else is there to do around? I need to go to the toilet. Uh, no, maybe. All right, well, what's the point of coming in here then if I can't interact with it? Interesting. What else is there? Can I go back and see if there's anything more? Oh, whoa! Hey, paper plane! Just like this other previous game. <gasps> oh no, he tripped! How you doing, sport? Yeah, little scamp! Is he dead? If he's dead, how can we be here decades later? Maybe it's his twin. Too, too soon. Well, actually, I guess it's been a while. A long while. But still, not cool. Eh. All right, I, I, I'm, I'm having a, a brain fart. Isn't, didn't the, um, To the Moon have a twin? I'm pretty sure To the Moon, that the plot was, there was a twin. I'm pretty sure, although I don't, th there was some crazy ending. The ending was like, there was a, the, the main character kid had like a twin, and that's the reason why. It's been a while since I played the game, like two years actually. Wow, I can't believe that. All right, you made the paper airplane. Oh. Here we go. Memento detected. What the? Isn't this already the furthest memory back? Yeah. Huh. Alright, let's see where this takes us then, I guess. A chunk and last one. Wait. I just realized something. Where did the music go? Huh. A few memories ago at the Sigmund Signing House. Ugh, here we go. And the boss said he'd put his best people on this case. This was like ages ago, Neil. But he didn't actually mean 
us, did he? Because Cullen was originally assigned to Roxanne and freaking Rob. God damn it, Rob. Yeah, let it go, man. That is other bullshit. Let's be honest, that's what he said. Uh, okay, calm down. No, I am rage. What? Okay. Kamehame! Don't interrupt me. Ha, Doken! That's not right, dude. But I will take it because I'm a nerd. Oh, you really moved up and getting sued by two IP IP simultaneously. <laughs> Sorry, but oh, that's great. Just can't have you go on thinking I've gotten tame. Oh boy, you could say you brought that upon yourself. No, Neil, I really wouldn't say that. Okay, memento, prepare. I suppose you can go ahead and go. So, I'm just gonna be clear. I'm probably never gonna get any of these puzzles, right? Oh, we can't move those. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get any of these puzzles correct. Let's see. I guess I can go like, there we go. And, oh wait, no, I can't move this one up. Okay, okay, I see your game. That one over there. I guess that works. So I'm not going for like, okay, well there's 100% completion. Oh boy. I am not gonna get the special uh, secret legit ending of this game. All right, let's see where this goes. Now, where the hell is this going? Because we're already in the furthest memory, his first memory, pretty much. So, where else could we have gone? There's a shadow man. And we jump back f forward in time. And we're back to old age. Whoa. Huh. Very cool effect. <laughs> Alas, Eric, Cactus 135, cruising flight level 360. Check this one, three, five, and let us set a Roger. Al Altimeter sitting 3017. Have a good flight. Altimeter 3015. Thank you, Cactus 135. Oh, I guess I was doing that. I'm, I, I have no idea if that's going to come out like as if I'm actually speaking over a loudspeaker. Probably not. Well, we got a nice tailwind following for us. Sir, now that we're in cruise, I just wanted to say it's an honor to be here as your first officer on your final flight. It's maybe my first time as first officer, but I won't let you down. <laughs> it's, it's all good. Rather poetic, really, passing the baton and all. But you should know. <sighs> as my co-pilot, there's only two things I ever want to hear from you. Two things, sir? Yep. They are, yes, Captain, and landing gear down. You're funny, sir. <laughs> what did I just say? Yes, Captain. <laughs> of course, I'm just messing with you. Just reminded me of back when I did my first flight as first officer, that's all. Is that the same shadow guy as the one that was stalking us into the forest? Man, my captain then was a crazy mess. <laughs> yes, Captain. Hmm. You know, I just thought I was kidding, right? Yes, Captain. <laughs> oh, we got a smart ass on their hands. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and son come in and sit for a bit if you don't mind. It's my last fly after all. They're not gonna get this view again. Yes, Captain. <laughs> uh... Irene, could you bring my family in? Thank you. <sighs> Probably does not sound very good over the microphone. Okay, then. Where is the freaking momentum, then? Is it the hat? Oh, Captain, my Captain. No, not quite. Flight regulation was still so chill back in the day, huh? Eh, times change. Boy, have they ever. I can't talk to Shadow Man, can I? Are you stalking me into the night and into deep, dank forests? I hope not. Hello? Oh, with the airlock. No, can't do that. Okay. I can't talk to him. And all the- Are the- Are you the shadow person? Are you the shadow person? You're the shadow person. Hello? Can I go to the very back of the plane? Or, nope. Okay. Guess not. I guess I have to watch the scene. So, what do you two say? One last round? Is it alright with management? Already approved. Special occasion and all. You hear them, Ma. Go, go, go! Hmm, how sweet. Okay. Uh, I don't think something horribly wrong is gonna happen here. Hopefully not. That'd be terrible. Unless Shadow Man is secretly gonna murder them all. 
So, you gonna miss the views? From the big birds? Sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. Oh, don't you go renting those small planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish they gave you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like, one of those monster double-deckers. <laughs> I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the airline in this. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. You know, Dad. All these years of flying, and you never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? Psst, don't tell your mother, but I was to impress a girl. Yeah? Did it work? Was it her? Sure, I, I guess. Oh, please. The way your father acted, I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. Hey, now, Fia, don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite the stud back in my days. Captain, just a reminder that we're on the record for the black box. Oh, his name is Peyton now? That... Okay. His name was First Officer, I, th I think, unless I wasn't paying attention, but I remember Peyton showing up in the name box. Oh, uh, thanks for the reminder. Uh, let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. No, no, they really aren't. Uh, oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Captain. Yeah, well, let me tell you a story about this one time I'm following a jar of pickles. Jar of pickles? I love jar of pickles. Okay, we need to maintain our stale cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now. Shoo, shoo. Alrighty. Sir, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. Aw. I don't know why, but that came off as sweet. Maybe I missed something, but... Let's see. So, uh... Are you coming with, or what? Nah, I like this view. Thought you're... Acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. How about you go wrap up this memory? And they'll join you shortly after. Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the picture from this seat's angle is just absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way Horizon meets that- Aw, oh, shut up, dude. Don't give me that cabbage. <sighs> oh, that, that'd be quite the sight to behold. Oh, airlock. Oh, okay. That was opening the airlock. Oh, thank you for the lovely fight, flight, sir. Cheers, hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one. Hope you enjoyed the- The landing sucked. Uh, yeah, sorry it's a little rough. Not one of my better landings. The wind was... Okay, then. Received note. Regret. Bad landing. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> I bet I could just sit here for ten minutes, a half an hour, an hour, a day, and there'd be still people shuffling out of this plane. So, this is, if I did that, that means this is like a ginormous airline. So, can I go outside, then, perhaps? Oh, I can. Oh, interesting. Okay, who can I talk to? I'll talk to Asher. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'll talk to uh, Colin first, I guess. Oh, a fellow cellist, huh? Here, let me get that for you. That's a cellist. Oh, celloist. I can't read. Thank you, sir. Yay, are you going to the cello? <laughs> eh, not really. My wife is the real musician in the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I love playing it as a kid. Note, cello. There we go. You gonna say anything else? No? Okay, well, I guess it's time to wrap up this memory. So, where was the memento? I'm not even sure. Oh, I guess I haven't discovered it yet. Uh, hello? Uh, Peyton, can I talk to you? No? Okay. I haven't located the memento. Oh, is the memento just the cello? It probably is the cello. It is the cello. Okay. Duh. Alright. Dink. Green. I. Like. Applesauce. Alright, let's see where this takes us now. Memento prepare. Now let's do horrible on another puzzle, shall we? Now let's see. I guess I could go boom. Bump that up. And then bump this up again. Is that gonna give me 100? 
Oh boy, I am not a good puzzler. I cannot do these very well. Okay then, so can I go or do I activate this? Yeah, I guess I'll activate this. So, dude, I'm just about to. Okay, I didn't activate that. I did not activate that. Okay, now we're going all the way back to childhood again. I don't remember how far back we went, or if the far back, the first one was really is previous before this. How did we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? It's not the machine. It's at least I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know what we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing this job. Relax, we'll manage. Alright, so is the cello again the... No? Okay. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? Nope. No, oh, okay. Boof. This is your instrument. Get used to it. Note, cello. Again. Loved playing cello as a kid. My arse. <laughs> liar, liar. Pants on fire. Wow, you belong at a grade school. Your childish jabs aside, Eva. And on an unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? I don't know, just the feeling. Oh, okay, so now we're in the French song, I guess. If you want something else, you should have just lined up earlier. I guess. Alright, so what do we got here? Can It looks like, uh, we can't go out of this music room, but... These shadow kids are kind of creeping me out, especially with this music. Oh, little Colin, where'd you going? Hey, don't push! I call dibs on the violin, it's so light to carry. I'm gonna get the flute, it fits in my backpack. Ooh, oh, I thought I was a girl. Dude, the cello is awesome! <laughs> Face palm. I appreciate the cello. Cellos are badass. Alright, so what do we got here? What do you got to say? What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. Alright, can I go in here? Oh, of course. So that is the momentum. Interesting, it requires three, but there's four options. Aw, uh, what? Why is there trees there? Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing, or is it carrying him? It's like just a floating case from behind. Uh, I already said that. Uh, what's there? Why are there trees here? Uh, I have a feeling these aren't exact replicas from the actual setting. It's as if his memories took quite the creative of liberty in mixing things up. Isn't the machine built with public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe? You're the tech specialist? Yeah, I'll have a look afterwards. Okay, uh, the guy sure takes creative liberty with his memories. Alright, so this one looks slightly different. Oh, nope, they're all the same, I guess. Alright, little Colin, what do we got for you here? Aw, oh, do you have no friends, Colin? Wow, this guy is awkward to watch. Yeah, Hiva, why do we get all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Well, that's a nice compliment under Goss's law for magnetism. Alright, so there's still one more memory to find. But what will that do? Because the uh, Momentum wanted three memories, but there's four memories total. So what does that mean? I do not know. I guess I have to go back and see uh, if there's anything else I missed. Do I talk to Colin again? I'll try talking to Colin again. No, oh, let's leave him alone. Oh wait, he already is. Ah. Okay, so we're missing a momentum, and we see. So does this mean that we're gonna go forward back in time to his older self, and we're gonna have just meet in the middle? I suppose. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else we can glean from back in here, is there? Once, uh, no. Can I, there's n absolutely nothing else I can talk to. Okay, well, looks like I only found the three memories. I feel bad for not looking around more, but I, I think this is what it wants. I think this is the limit. I think this is what it wants me to go look. 
Oh, oh, okay, never mind. I guess there's another memory in here. This is exactly what I want. Oh, you're identifiable. Oh, there's no trigger yet. Perhaps Colin's got something for us. Okay, they're researching how to hang a cat. It definitely looks like they're playing hangman and there's a cat there. What you got, Colin? Colin? Colin, pay attention. Colin! Uh, uh the answer is C. Wh what? Uh, that's weird. Uh, I'll ask you again. What is the radius this circle? Uh, uh, it's, um, uh, radius of a circle is, uh, circumfer- It's the circumference of the circle divided by two? Yeah, I think that's right. I think, I think that's, if I remember math, that's right. Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. Okay, that's why he was standing outside. Mm, I think there's something on the wall back there. I'll leave. What happened out here? Oh, nothing, I guess. Okay, I guess I'll go check this out. Th oh, what's that? Oh, okay. I guess I'll check this pinging over here. Oh, the clock is the momentum? Hmm, that could be our ticket out of here. Alright, I think we can reach it if we just, uh... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. Um, okay. Let me find a way to get it? Uh, do I need to push something? Ooh. Alright, um... Oh, wait, maybe I need to go talk to her? Yes? No. Okay, so what can I do to go grab this? Do I need to talk to a kid, perhaps? Oh, fern! This seems highlighted. No? Oh. Alright, now watch this. Oh, I guess it was the fern. Is that a freaking wand? Wait, you didn't disable the Mobilibrius uh, Teacher's Deskus. Don't you mean Elp? No, I think it's Leviosa, sir. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> and down! Wow. Okay, that, you kind of freaked out this lady out. Did you kid just flip and see that? D dude! Reset! Uh, okay. First of all, disable reactive interactively before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how that spell goes. It's Leviosa. You see that thing fly? They sure did, you village idiot. Okay, well, no matter. Come on, dude. Leviosa. Alrighty. Dink. Dink. And... Tch. What? what? Uh, nothing. I guess I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. I was gonna say, um, sure you can. Eva, do you know how draining it is to unleash a Kamehameha and a Hadoken simultaneously? Yeah, that's a lot of spirit energy. I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty rest. Okay then. Whatever you say there, Watts. Activate! Alright, let's do another friggin' puzzle. Ooh, this one's a little bit more challenging. Now, let's see. I think I can just do... Yeah, th th there we go. Oh. Wait, what? That's not... What happened to my balls? My balls! Uh, oh, I don't even see what I'm doing. So, can I go like that? There we... So, am I doing this right or wrong? I I'm not quite sure. I can't move that one. So... Mayhaps I can. Okay, I can do it like this. I have no idea how I solved that at all. Uh, I thought I was going for one thing, but apparently I was going for the other. All right, let's see where this takes us now. Are we haven't run into the shadowy pixelated man yet, so he'll show up probably pretty damn soon. Oh, we're in the um, his apartment now. It looks like he's just moving in. Uh, are we back in the old age period again? Hmm. Well, let me check. Yeah, it, it's elderly, and here it is—the perfect retirement apartment. I guess. Hmm. Well, uh, we sure are. Okay, I, I think I got it figured out. Huh. I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. Ah, I caught on before Rosalind then. Now we're going back and forth, meeting in the middle. 
With all of our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. However, for the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshotted all the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again, leaped back. Uh-huh. To the older times where we left off. And then, to the earlier ones again, moving forward. And once more to the older time, moving backwards. These jumps aren't in a random order, and nor do they form just any pattern. Mm, it's the pattern of a decaying orbit. That's very specific. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling towards a gravitational center. That's a very large uh, gap of uh, conclusion. There we go. That's a very big conclusion to come to. A gravitational center. Uh, inappropriately context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some uh, oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentlemen. I don't know. Maybe it's a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients and there's never been a memory that's done this. Hmm. Alright, I guess at least this one isn't routine then. Hmm. We'll see. Okay. Rather ominous. Uh... All right, I guess uh, we'll go look. I, I guess we'll look around first, real quick, and then we'll probably end the episode after we access the next memory. So this outdoor patio door is open. Oh, hello! Uh, and as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. Uh, I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but. If you extend your hand off in the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't, though. You fall off. Uh, okay, on we go! Memory. Please? What you contemplating there, Colin? Okay, guess we gotta talk to you. Hmm, dot, dot, dot. Hmm, are you thinking about... What are you thinking about there, dude? Probably not good thoughts if I have to... I have to some some if I had to think. So what do you think? That's what I thought. Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too. But I, I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help at all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now, or like ran out. I I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. Uh, 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 sorry to be blunt, uh, but are you gonna take it? Because, uh, there's a deposit fee, uh, you see, which, um, technically I couldn't, uh, elope with, but, uh, but, 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 but I promise, uh, I, stop, stop talking. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. Memories! Memories! All alone in the moonlight! What we got here? You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. Is it though? I, eh. There's a window there, and I believe the bathroom is to the south, which that is not great acoustics. You gotta put up some. You gotta put up some uh, uh, sound buffering panels around there. I should know because that's what I went to college for. There's very little room for an audience though, so you'd probably be playing alone, which is kind of sad. Uh, but I digress. Uh, awkward. Okay. Yeah, you need some sound panels, some uh, definitely some corner pads to get out the uh, uh, the base because the base likes to trap in uh, your corners. Huh? Wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? I guess he just folded it. Uh, what's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right. Oh. Okay. Well, there's a memory. Or memento. Being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without a sing. Hmm. In any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. Okay, then. So, we're gonna find these three more memories and we're gonna call it quitsies on this episode. 
And what else do we got here? The kitchen. Haven't been upstairs yet. Uh, one bedroom with balcony. And there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. It, yeah, but this unit is on, on the edge. You, you can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Right. Uh, uh, he, he, here's Here, have a brochure. Memory. Alright, so looks like we've got one over here. Probably the attic if I were to guess. Oh. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that if you haven't even been on fire, or it ha hasn't even had one... Wait, you'll notice that it hasn't had even one fire accident. I don't know why it's just me today, but that's a really, really weird sentence. Of course, if it had the whole place, geez, wouldn't truly burnt down being an apartment and all. Uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> of course it wouldn't happen. Maybe I shall seem like every folks right. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is uh, fire safety is very, very important. <laughs> uh, please buy this place. Okay, the attic, which, uh, forget calling out a special book upstairs, which Watts looked at, and we didn't get to see what was inside the book. And what do we got here? An attic in an apartment! Isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building <laughs> explodes, I guess it'd probably hit pretty close. Okay, I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leak thing, but this isn't happen ha ha helping. Okay, maybe it's time to end the episode because, boy, I cannot speak with a goddamn today. So, I guess I will end it right at the memento. Actually, no, I'll cliffhanger it, just like I did the last episode, so. A little bit of a longer episode. For Chunk, Hibboop, Hidinky, Hubboobo, and Purple. Alright. Puzzle time, puzzle time. Let's line up the mattress and see what's inside. Alright, this one looks uh, relatively easy. I can't move that one. Oh, and I can't move that one. Alright, I'm going for... Oh, I can only move this middle one. And the... Interesting, not what I thought I was able to do. Is there a book one? I guess there... Ah, uh, I can't... I can only move this one. And this one. Interesting, so I need the I'm gonna go for the watch, I guess. Got the watch over there. Uh I guess I can go yeah, go here. Go up one. Oh wait, but I can't get to that watch either. Hmm. I can't go up here though. So I can only move the stuff on these axes, huh? Okay, uh, where's the- is there another green guy, or green cello? Uh, I think there is. No, there is not. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm a dummy. I can just do this. Up like that. Uh, that gives me a hundred. There we go. Aeroplane! Made the paper. Alright, so I guess I will... I'll go ahead and activate this and read what's up next and see what is going down. No shadow guy yet. It's either good or bad. And we're... <laughs> we're ending the episode right where we started the episode. Great. Okay, I guess we'll see what happened to the parents. Uh, okay. Sling back again. Hmm? Yep, your theory still checks out. Hmm. Uh, okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what's causing this anomaly, of course. Your guess versus mine. Oh, get a life. Dibs on first guess then. Hmm, bet you 10 bucks it's about a girl. Suddenly a romantic, aren't you? Nah, just the fact that with these things, it's always about some girl. <sighs> you know, not everything is about some girl, Neil. 
sides. I think we've seen enough from his own memories to say that he's happily married and uh, hey oh oh who is that uh careful there kid oh oh it is a girl she's a cutie Faye what you doing up there that's pretty sweet uh, oh me yes you you I see you standing up there like every day. What are you always looking at? There you are. So, got a name? Uh, a girl. Uh, you do have a name, right? Uh, uh, Rudolph. Ru Ru uh, I, I, I mean, Colin. C Colin. What? I, I can't hear you. I said my name is Colin. Huh? You're calling what? What? No, uh, let, let me just, uh, uh, uh. Hold, hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, he's gonna take the paper airplane and toss it across. And is that how he's gonna get into aviation? Hmm, what an interesting thing to trigger your lifelong dream. Okay, well, we will go ahead and save it there. Uh, file one, there we go. Double save it, just, I'm, uh, schizophrenic about I guess I'm trouble saving anyways. But, anyways, that's all the time I have for Finding Paradise. So, thank you everyone so much for watching, and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch. Be sure to check out any other videos that I've done, and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Once again, thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.